Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Stellaris. Let's go ahead and make our battleship. Uh, I've done some work off screen. I actually just researched battleship assembly yards. So now we are making our battleships. We're going to churn out. Uh, this episode, I want to turn my fleet uh, to extremely powerful. I want to get it up to like 30k uh, fleet power. That way I can take on these hostiles here. So to do that... Um, we need to have this power plant research complete. That way we can have more energy credits. Um, but I think right now, let's go to the relative power. Nobody is overwhelmingly powerful than me. Um, there's a couple people that are still superior in their fleet power. But overall, we're looking like we're in a pretty good spot here. Now we just need... To go ahead and keep on building fleets. Why? Hmm. Okay. Um. The fuck? Oh, I was gonna say why? Why did all my minerals go away? But they're upgrading the fleet. That's why. So our fleet's at 14, and basically 15 once you combine these two right now. Uh, 15k power, so we're looking pretty good. Um, like I said, I want to eventually take on these hostiles here. Um, is there anything that we're missing to build stations around? Ah, right here. Let's send you build mining stations there. Upgrading our armada now. But yeah, we're 15.6k. That's pretty decent. Um, pretty, pretty decent indeed. I don't think there's really going to be anybody that can take us out once we build up our fleet a little bit more. Because our naval capacity is pretty large. Um, we probably could build up some of our spaceports. Let's go in like to here. Yes, this, this doesn't even have a spaceport. This is only spaceport 1. So if we upgrade all of our spaceports to spaceport 6, that will greatly increase our naval capacity. Uh, plus we could always do the uh, Grand Fleet Edict as well. So that would increase our naval capacity. So I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. Um, we're just going to go ahead and keep on building battleships. Uh, actually, we're pretty powerful. We could probably take on this dude. As you can see, our border is expanding this way, though. So that's good. Hmm... I'm just looking at some of these empires around here. Oh, that added some power to our ships. That's good. There's, yeah, there's really only maybe this guy, this guy have the... Maybe this guy have the same land mass that I do in terms of, like, amount of... Uh, systems we can control. I think I definitely have the most planets. So 14 planets, 24. Yeah, 32. Next closest is this dude at 24. So, I think we're doing pretty good here. This guy is overlord to somebody. Construction complete. Just keep on building these battleships. Uh, and actually, if once we, I, I want to get my fleet up to 25k, and once I do that, then I'm going to take on this guy, because if I get it up to 25k, it's going to be like double the amount of these hostiles, and I probably won't lose hardly, but maybe one or two ships. If I sent in my fleet right now, I would probably lose a bunch of my ships, and uh, don't want to do that, obviously. So, we'll keep on building up our fleet. In the meantime, let's look at some of these planets' the surfaces. Uh, we can upgrade that. Let's do that. Um, 
Everything else is... See, let's, this already has a couple things to construct in the queue. See, that is still doing all that. Let's look at some of these planets. Alright, so we're at 22 food here, so we can replace some of the farms with power plants. Power plant. And let's replace this with a power plant. And this with a power hub. And we'll make this another electronic planet. That'll just give us a bunch of electricity. Uh, or energy credits, I should say. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh. This guy didn't have anything to do. We need to build a mining network. Um, let's see. Food on this planet is five. Do we have anything less than five on the food? No. How about this planet? Four. Assuming nothing below four. Yeah. Uh, how about this planet? Negative one. Ooh. We need to change that. Um... Let's see, let's go ahead, does this have a, it does have a hydroponics farm. Um, let's switch one of these over to a hydroponics farm for the time being. Construction complete. Oh, we can build another battleship here in just a second. Boom. Power plant four and five are coming along shortly, so we can upgrade all our player plants then, and then our energy credit's gonna be through the roof. Let's look at our fleet strength now to a bunch of these. How oh, we're equivalent with this guy. I want to go with to war with this dude at some point. Now he has defensive pack with the Zen, but the Zen are all the way down here. Where are they? Actually, they've built they were pretty weak a little bit ago, but actually they built themselves back up. But uh, I want to go to war with this dude at some point. Um and take all this land and then if I expand over here take all this then that'll really get me rolling uh that is the plan Let's see anything else on the surface we can upgrade not at the moment let's look at our leaders sorry it's been a couple days since I filmed the last part so I'm trying to get myself uh re uh, uh focused back on the game for the moment These couple missions here need science level five, right? Construction complete. Yeah, science level four and five, so I'm not gonna be able to do that because we don't have any scientists at that level. Build another battleship. And like I said, once we get up to 25k, we will go and defeat these people right here. I really want our border to expand quicker, that way we can get all of this. Let's look at the factions, actually. Um, let me just suppress that. We can take our suppression off that, take the suppression off that. So actually, we might. what we might do is build a frontier outpost like right in the middle here and that would give us a bunch of these because we're getting plus three influence points per turn although we might need that or if we need to colonize more planets if this there's another planet in here so maybe we don't do that yeah i think we just leave this for now uh let's see another battleship See, is there anything we can build in here? No. Almost got this researched. Almost got this researched. And that's coming along too. So once we get hydroponics farms 4 and 5, we can upgrade more of the hydroponics farms, and then we can probably replace them with a couple more uh, mining uh, 
mining outposts or whatever the fuck they're uh mineral networks mining networks there we go that's the right word plus 10 food and yeah, we can replace this dude with a mining network Let's upgrade that. I don't know why they're so unhappy. Research complete. Uh, ooh, we definitely want this, and we have no good weapons to get. Let's go with the coil gun. Okay, so let's upgrade all of these. Let's upgrade that. We can upgrade that. Upgrade this once we get the minerals for it. Upgrade that. Yeah, once we upgrade all these uh, power plants, we'll be getting it. We'll be raking in the dough on the energy credits. I think it's going to be over 12k. I think we just go ahead and go in here and take out these dudes. Or maybe we just wait. I think we just wait for 25. Just to be safe. Because the more, more ships you have, the less damage they're going to take because you're going to kill the other enemy ships quicker. And I don't want to lose a lot of my ships because I, this guy honestly could attack at any time because he has a negative 273, so obviously he is not happy with us. Construction complete. Who is the most happy with us? This guy. This guy's pretty happy with us too. Man, we don't want to join your damn federation. We've already won as a federation before. We want to win all by ourselves. Uh, hold up. Where is that planet? Aha, right here. So this is the Isval Prime or whatever the fuck it is sector. So... Speed that up. Um, let's look at plants and sectors. There's a sector right here that doesn't have a governor. Let's go with this guy. Let's go ahead and build another battleship. Construction complete. This planet. What can you build? Construction complete. Can upgrade that. Upgrade that. That. Construction complete. We can upgrade that. Upgrade that. Uh, now we just wait for the minerals to come in so we can keep on upgrading all this shit. Yeah, see, we're at positive 83 energy credits right now. We're just going to keep on getting that more and more, too. Look at our fleet strength. Equivalent. Only two people are superior to us in fleet now. Oh, they made peace. How nice. Um... We can go ahead and upgrade these two. Upgrade that. Oops. Uh, let's see, we can go ahead and upgrade that. And upgrade that and that. Governor leveled up, that's good. Where's that other construction chip? I sent him over here to build... Aha! So let's have him build... Research Station. There's nothing we can really upgrade on this planet right now, so that's fine. No snapping turtle people. Doing well. Colonizing a bunch of our planets. I like our snapping turtle friends. Construction complete. 
We still have eight destroyers in this fleet. I didn't even realize that. I know since destroying them, no pun intended, but they'll die soon enough once uh, we get into some combat with some other fleets. The destroyers are pretty useless. Hold up. Scientist died. No! Our scientist died. It's unacceptable. Let's have this guy replace him. We went to war? A CG and Zen. Construction Ooh. complete. That actually might work in our favor because this this means this guy is at war with Ah, so if he loses the war, then he's gonna be less powerful, and then I can swoop in and take the, uh, and take the crumbs, if you will. Uh, let's go ahead and just recruit this guy and put him on that ship, just for the hell of it. Uh, let's see, we can go ahead and get all these. Great, all of that. Research, Research done. Very nice. Ooh. We want naval capacity for sure. Leader, Empire leaders can come later. I don't have enough minerals. So keep on upgrading all this shit. We gotta wait, unfortunately. Which means we can't build up our fleet like we wanted to. I think what I might do is I might just go ahead and do like maybe a couple more minutes off uh, off screen, do a jump cut, um, and then be back once we have built up our fleet a little bit longer. That way you guys don't have to sit through the boring part. Let's see, a leader died. Uh, and then we'll finish off this part with destroying the enemy, the little hostile fleets down here. Uh, let's see. There we go. So I will be right back. Uh, I did some work off screen. Actually, um, I went into the ship designer, the a large autocannon finished a researching. So I put that as my primary weapon and it upgraded my fleet. Like I haven't built many more battleships, but it, it upgraded my fleet to a 30.1k fleet instead. And actually I just thought of something. Let me go ahead and put the auto cannon on these ships as well. And that and then same with the since I have a couple more destroyers, I'll go ahead and put the auto cannon on the destroyers. Now, let's go ahead and upgrade this again. Uh, it'll upgrade. I, I ha am building another battleship right now. Uh, and that'll upgrade once that goes through. Uh, as you can see off screen, I've pretty much upgraded most of these. Or they're in the midst of being upgraded. Uh, the planet surfaces, so that's good. Uh, let's actually look at our planets and our core systems. Yeah, see, they're all, like, positive 12, positive 13. I should probably go through and replace one or two things, but I'll wait and... Oops, did I mean to do that? I'll wait to do that until after uh, everything's been upgraded. That way I know exactly how much productivity we're getting out of each planet and what we can replace. Um, but I am curious as to how much this will increase my firepower on this fleet. 31k... 32.9 nice so let's go ahead and send in this fleet in here um also since we've been building up our fleet you can see we are one of the more powerful empires in the galaxy now um even the people that are above us are overwhelming in technology but inferior in fleet power uh that guy is equivalent guy but the most powerful person this guy is equivalent to me in fleet power so uh feeling pretty good if we keep on building up our fleet. We should be able to take on pretty much anybody, quite honestly. And we have the naval naval capacity to do it. Um, 
I mean, all these people are inferior in naval capacity. And, and the thing is, I don't even have half of my shit upgraded to spaceport six. If I do that, then I'm going to be definitely far and away one of the more powerful uh, empires in the galaxy. Let's keep on doing that. Um, I wonder if I can offer a trade deal to this guy for a research agreement. Construction complete. Yeah, for that. Uh, what happens if I offer a monthly transfer of minerals? Uh, he's not buying it. Okay. Well then, fuck you. Oh, we're getting close. So we're gonna take out this guy, and then let's go ahead and send our science ship to right here. That way, he is ready to go in and survey the system and all that stuff. Once we have defeated these crystal construction giants, just keep on cranking out these battleships, though. Yeah, like, all these, like, I don't think this is upgraded. Yeah, this doesn't even have a spaceport. This has a spaceport, too. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, we're not evading at all. We're going in, boys. Evading hostile fleet. Why are you what? Construction complete. Let's move them. Why well, I don't know why they were, were set to evasive. Let's fucking let's go. Let's be aggressive, boys. Construction complete. No need to be so passive. So there's nothing else on the surface here that we can upgrade on these planets, though, right? We can upgrade that and that. Ooh, we can upgrade that now. Sweet. Let's see how our fleet does here. They should be able to defeat this guy pretty easily. Hostile fleet engaged. This shouldn't be much of a contest, quite honestly. The only negative about the auto cannon is that it's short range, shorter ranged, so have to get in range. But damn, yeah, we are destroying these things like no other. Fleet engaged. There goes that little fleet. Here goes that Situation one. Log. If I lose cruisers and destroyers, I am fine with that. Quite honestly. I don't really care about the cruisers. They're actually cruisers and destroyers are less efficient in terms of maintenance. So I'm fine with losing them. Oh, yeah. You are donezo. Where did that science ship go? Ah, oh, he's sitting there ready. The hell? Why did it upgrade to 31.2k? Or 35.1k. Yeah, my, my Admiral must have leveled up and increased the power of my fleet, yep. Admiral Keb. Oh, Keb. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log. All right, so let's go ahead and send this fleet back to Froggy. Send you back there. Go ahead and make another battleship. Actually, let's do that. And another battleship. And then let's send in our science ship to, first off, research the projects from the debris and second off see if there's any colonizable planets in the system or energy any uh any energy credits minerals anything we can build mining stations around this is almost in our oh it is in our space now nice let's send you down to build that 
Our border's expanding. Research complete. Yeah, this guy's in fear now. We could actually probably go to, go to war with this dude at some point. Oh yeah, he's losing the war. He Remember, he's at war with this guy, so he's losing the war too. So we could actually probably go to war with him here fairly soon. This guy's pathetic. I'm not worried about him. That's his only ally. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and pump out some more battleships. And then in the next part, we'll go to war with this guy. Uh, ooh, auto cannon number two. Let's go with that. Thirty-six months, not bad. Auto cannons are kinetic, right? Yeah. That little fella's just surveying away, isn't he? Uh, we're almost done with these, though, so that'll help. Actually, that'll help a lot. That'll increase our fleet capacity by... What's that? Like, uh... 56? Because that's 10% of 564 is 56. That's good. And then that'll increase, and these two will increase our fleet power too. See, so it's early game paid off. I was patient. I didn't rush into any conflicts. I said, you know what? Nobody's attacking me. I'm just, I have so many plants to colonize over here. I'm just going to do my thing, colonize all these plants. And eventually I will be more powerful than everybody because I'm going to have more resources. And guess what? That's what's happened. Is this guy's done analyzing the debris we will have him survey that system construction complete and then hopefully there are is another planet if not a uh, bunch of things that we can build outposts around and get some minerals Three and four more months. Okay. This guy's almost done with that. 38k fleet. Feels good. This guy is still inferior to me. I like it. I like it a lot. He does have superior technology. Which is a little worrying. That's alright. So let's survey that system while we're doing that. Let's go ahead... And Wait, what happened? It said research was done, but it's not. Research complete. That research is done. Construction complete. Well, what is this? Let's pause this for a second. Negative one hundred percent shield damage. Oh, interesting. I've never. I don't think I've ever researched that before. I or I've never used it before, at least. Have an ability? Yes, please. All right. So let's look at our ship designer here. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade Construction complete. this. Construction complete. I have plenty of power. Save that. We're not going to upgrade our ships yet, just simply because. Uh, we're waiting for the auto cannon to to research, so there's no point in upgrading them twice, in my opinion. Um, so once the auto cannon two researches, though, we will upgrade all of it. Uh, let's see how far away is that? It's like 30 months, 47 months. Oof. Okay. This guy's finding some good stuff in here, though. To 
build uh, research stations around. Fortunately, there's no planets in here that we can colonize. There's hardly anything in here. This is a big waste of time. Oh, well, maybe not. I guess it wasn't because I got our Admiral some skill levels. So it wasn't a complete waste of time. But we will complete continue building our battleships. Actually, let's hold off on that. Is there anything else we can upgrade on any of these planets? We can upgrade all of these. System survey complete. Construction complete. We can upgrade all of these. Seriously, there was only this in that whole system? Wow, that was completely useless. <laughs> that was a useless system to survey. Um, oh, we can upgrade this. Let's do that. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to end off this part here. We were able to get rid of the last little bit of... Uh, rogue crystalline things we were get we got rid of them in this system we built up our fleet up to 39.9 K it's very powerful uh, on the next part we will most likely if everything goes according to plan go to war with this guy the Ma Shukshan interstellar covenant it's a mouthful right there isn't it uh, we're gonna go to war with them most likely especially since they're already at war with so many different empires they're already their focus has already diverged so i can just swoop in and take a bunch of this shit so that is going to be the plan for next time uh thank you guys for watching this part of stellaris if you enjoyed the video okay leave a like subscribe to the channel for more stellaris gameplay leave some feedback in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys next time.